Welcome back. We got things set up just in time. It's not easy to put together 17 hot dogs <laughs> on the fly. And there's a reason why we did this, ladies and gentlemen. The 4th of July, just around the corner. To many, it's a celebration of freedom, independence, mm -hmm. fireworks. And then there's this new tradition of watching people pig out on hot dogs. The Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest on ESPN. I watch it every year with my daughter. Uh, <laughs> we just got these in the mail today. Joey Chestnut, this is the guy who kind of wins every year. He mm -hmm. ate 72 hot dogs last year in 10 minutes. So oh now gosh. he's got his own condiments. But guess what? <laughs> he's got some competition this year, ladies and gentlemen. Sarah Reineke from Seattle is here, and she is competing. You actually qualified to compete. You ate 17. What you're seeing right here is what she put away in just 10 <laughs> minutes so there's so many questions that we could ask you um how do you get into this how does one say hmm that looks like a challenge i want to take on uh like all good adventures one too many margaritas is oh. largely what started it <laughs> okay. um no i mean i didn't really choose competitive eating it chose me if i was excellent at zumba or underwater basket weaving or something along those lines that's what i'd be doing but it turns out i can just eat a crap ton of food wow but how did you know that I mean, besides the margaritas, but I'm just saying, like, one day you're like, I think I'm going to do this. I think I can. <laughs> well, it was an ongoing joke with my friends. You know, again, one or two cocktails in me, and pretty much the fridge would disappear uh, entirely. So they, they would always think it was so funny and would say, Sarah, you got to try competitive eating. There's something wrong with you. Yeah. And I gave it a shot. I flew to Maryland, and I tried a peep eating contest, mm -hmm. and turns out I'm not bad. And then the rest is history. Wow. Now, I mean, you're into fitness, you're a bodybuilder, mm -hmm. so you're not what people assume when they think of somebody who can just eat a ton of food, but you actually qualified for this in Portland. You ate 17 mm -hmm. hot dogs. <laughs> you have a YouTube page where I saw you eat something like 50 Cadbury eggs. Yes. Uh, you, you ate a 16-person <laughs> cake, 30 uh, servings of oatmeal. Here's you putting oh away 50 Cadbury eggs. You say, hey, I love Easter candy, so I'll just go for it. <gasps> Do you have to talk to your doctor about this kind of thing? I mean, are there any <laughs> obvious health concerns? Um, I mean, most of the time, we don't do events unless we have an EMT on site, So, right. mm -hmm. especially with hot dogs. So choking's the, the major concern. But as far as your body, I mean, it's about consistency. Yeah, if I eat like this every day, you better believe my doctor would have some major mm -hmm. concerns. Yeah. But the rest of the week, I'm really on point with my nutrition. I'm hitting the gym twice a day, usually. Wow. And Mind you, you know, I go from bodybuilding season to off season and the weight, yeah. Yeah. you can't eat 17 hot dogs and not see something happen to your waistline. So that is very much a part of it, but. So Michelle, this is what her, this is what her cheat day looks like. <laughs> well, I was wondering, do you have to keep it down in competition? Like, cause I know you right? can't automatically yeah. but is there like a like can you wait 30 minutes before you like try to yeah so it, it? it depends <laughs> the vomit question we get asked okay. a lot let's just put it out on the table Sorry, everybody. call a spade a spade yeah. uh, you are not allowed to while you're on stage at all that's mm -hmm. called the reversal of fortune and you're disqualified immediately afterwards once it's counted and you are you know numbers are done that's totally your call um, mm -hmm. with hot dogs what I try and tell people is if you wanted to be the best marathon runner you could possibly be and you finished the race and you walked you know, off the stage and they said, can you run five more miles? And you said, yes, you are not a very good marathon runner. Mm -hmm. Same for hot dogs. When I'm done, I want it to be that if I have one sip of water when I walk off stage, it's over. Mm -hmm. um, so you're, you're going as hard as you can. So sometimes that means afterwards bad things happen. <laughs> how, how do you train for this? Because I mean, watching and some people find it a bit grotesque with the hot dog Absolutely. part because you guys dip them into water, which mm -hmm. is obviously to get the bun wet, yep. but you're kind of drinking a hot dog. Exactly. Yeah, do you train at home? Uh, I do, um, but you can't train every day with, with hot dogs or you'd weigh 700 pounds. Yeah. So um, I actually train with vegetables and water to get my stomach stretched. So I'm eating around nine pounds of veggies every night before I go to bed <laughs> to stretch my stomach out. Um, but again, I mean, I do runs with, with hot dogs too to practice. But um, again, if I ate, you know, 20 plus hot dogs every day, I would be so fat. So <laughs> yeah, vegetables are my uh, my weapon of choice. It's so amazing. So when can we see you next? Yeah. Obviously on the on the big hot dog eating contest. Yeah. So You're the, off on a flight Saturday, right? Uh, in New York. Oh man, I wish I was flying out Saturday. I fly out Monday night on a red eye to get Ooh. into New York. Um, we'll do a little bit of media, and then big day is the Fourth of July on ESPN. Oh my goodness! And then can we see you around here? 
Um, I will have a couple more contests coming up throughout the year, and there are a couple local restaurants that I will be doing some challenges at. Um, but if you guys know of any or anybody sends any suggestions, <laughs> and this girl loves to eat, so. Well, I know you were at Top Hot Donuts. They sent over some donuts oh to God. us, so we're yes. going to be kind of uh, minor league competitive eating <laughs> in the moment. Uh, but this is the 36th ranked competitive eater in the world. Sarah Ranicky, look for her on the 4th of July, the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest. We'll kick it back over to Angela. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that, that was intriguing, wasn't yeah, no it? Way.